Germany's mix of stars and super subs proving to be trouble at Euro 2024. If only all dilemmas were like Germany's heading into Saturday's round of 16 clash against Denmark at Euro 2024, with his team smiling its way through the tournament and the host nation rapidly falling in love with its young heroes, head coach Julian Nagelsmann has the following selection head scratcher to consider. Does he leave in Florian Wirtz, the 21-year-old superstar who has forgotten how to lose? Or does he replace him in the starting 11 with Nicholas Fulkrug, the fan favorite who can't stop scoring? Either would be an option most coaches would give their last slice of schnitzel for. The fact that Nagelsmann's greatest problem is deciding on Wurtz, who spearheaded Bayer Leverkusen to an unbeaten surge to the Bundesliga title, or Borussia Dortmund's Fulkrug, in his home stadium and with a national team record of a goal every 59 minutes, is indicative of how things are going. Did I say no other problems? Well, there was the mosquito outbreak that infested the team's training camp, and there is torrential weather beckoning around game time, hailstones and lightning and all the rest. These are issues that might annoy a team that is floundering. They can be taken in stride, with mild amusement, by one that is enjoying the delights of summer and feeling good about itself. Even the inherent contentiousness of fighting for a place in the starting lineup has had its script flipped. Magelsman spoke with a group of players he expected to be most often used as subs in the build-up to the tournament, including Fulkrug. So effectively did he emphasize to them that their role matters too, that the collection of super subs now were the title like a badge of honor. If you told me I'd be European champion, I'd sign up in a heartbeat, Fulkrug told reporters. Even if that meant continuing to come off the bench. The cost here is bigger than any individual player. This team spirit is palpable, it is not just a slogan. Germany's subs have scored three of the team's eight goals at Euro 2024, two of them going to Fulkrug, now the team's joint top scorer alongside Jamal Musiala despite his playing time totaling just 73 minutes. That included the most crucial strikes so far, a headed equalizer in injury time against Switzerland that ensured Germany would go through as group winner, pitting it against the Danes instead of defending champion Italy. We have a good mix between very strong personalities and those who are willing to be subordinate while pushing others," Nagelsmann said. Fulkrug has made a case for continuing to use him as a substitute as well as one of the starters. It is both good and bad for him that he has fulfilled the role of the super sub very well. Nagelsmann's replacements have thrived in three different situations. In the first group game against Scotland, Fulkrug and Emre can both came on and scored as the coach sought to establish an early boost to Germany's goal differential. Against Hungary, closing out the game and avoiding any late mishaps was the objective. Against Switzerland, seeking an equalizer was the order of the day. Coming off the bench and really applying the pressure was how reserve forward Maxi Bayer described his role. I'm over the moon that I was able to help the team, said defender David Rom, who set up Fulkrug's goal in the Switzerland game and may step in alongside Nico Schlotterbeck on Saturday, with Jonathan Toss suspended and Antonio Rudiger injured. Comparisons between this Germany team and 2006 group that made it to the semi-final of the World Cup on home soil are increasing in frequency. Going into the event, a run to at least the quarterfinals was considered by most Germanys to be a favorable outcome. Nagelsmann's squad is now one game away from getting there, against a Denmark side that looked good against England but managed just three draws in Group C. Except now, you feel, the expectations for Germany might have shifted, the sense growing that this is a group capable of much more.